Hey everyone, so uh, a fellow uh, YouTube content creator while I was gone on my vacation last week made a video uh, titled clickbait. We need to talk about this and this was uh, a video from Zach at Switch Force and we're not here to talk about his channel specifically, uh, but it is something that I like to address now and then uh, because obviously clickbait comments are always going to be around uh, no matter what a YouTuber does, especially YouTubers like us, I suppose, that, that will cover the rumors and speculation. I think that's what really gets people more than your average video. Although sometimes, like, it could seem like real news. Uh, it can be exaggerated a bit in titles and thumbnails to sound, make it sound a bit more exciting than it probably is to most of you. Uh, like, when you use the term big news in the title, and then the news ends up being, I don't know, say, a, you know, a, about a new trailer for Mario Golf or, or something like that. Uh, you know, some people will view that as, well, you know, that's obvious clickbait. And yeah, in the back of your mind, there is that little that little trigger that goes, man, is this really big news or not? Even if I'm really excited for this thing, does that mean everybody else is? And then if I'm really excited for this and I know others might not be, is it really then big news, even if I think it's big news to me? Uh, so that's like a, uh, an internal debate that happens. But the, the, the larger uh, conversation on clickbait is is rather interesting. Now, we are on our road to 80,000 subscribers, so I would appreciate if you would drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel. At 80K, we're giving away a replica Breath of the Wild Master Sword, an actual steel blade. It's going to be really cool. Uh, we're also giving away a replica Deku shield and a replica Hylian shield, so hopefully you guys uh, look forward to those giveaways. Uh, when they happen, we're not giving them away right now. It is a goal. When we hit 80,000 subscribers, we will set up the giveaway and uh, talk about that. Maybe even talk about what's next at 90 or 100,000. Obviously, um, you know, all the way to 100K, we're going to have quite uh, the celebration going on uh, for every milestone that we have. But here is something that I, that I, I really, really want to talk about. Uh, just truthfully and honestly with my audience, because I believe in transparency with my audience. I've always believed in it uh, i'm one of the few youtubers that uh, right there on live stream i've literally gone to the back end of my youtube channel and showed exactly how much money the channel made last year and i'm always having an internal debate over uh things like titles and thumbnails i want to start off this video with an apology i know that's weird right uh an uh, apologizing for clickbait it's a strange feeling, right? Like admitting that hey, you're not perfect and you have faults. Uh, clickbait's a, a funny thing. So there's the, there's the dictionary definition and uh, the definition that we all go by, which is Urban Dictionary, which is the cultural uh, referencing of clickbait. Uh, the first, the, the dictionary version is just making something highly clickable. Of course we do that. That's the whole point. You need your thumbnail. You need your title. Uh, you need your movie title and your movie, you know, ads and all. You need all that stuff to be highly clickable, highly watchable, because that's how you're going to get people through the door. You can have the most amazing content in the world, but if the title and the thumbnail or, or the movie title, the book title and the book cover art, like if that stuff isn't appealing, it's highly likely your amazing content could be overlooked. So absolutely, that's like the raw definition of what clickbait means in the dictionary. And yeah, everybody does that because that is is like if you're not doing that, you're probably not you probably don't have an audience. Star Wars wouldn't have the audience it did if it didn't have a really bad ass name with really badass art to go along with it that ended up getting people to go to the theaters for the very first movie. So, yes, it really matters a hell of a lot uh, about titles and, and cover art and all that. But here's the thing. That's not really the, the what people have a problem with. You can make appealing titles and, and cover art and be fine. What people have an issue with are obviously the cultural way that we consider clickbait, the way the Urban Dictionary has defined it, and that is as the bait and switch. I'll give you one prime example that I know I'm guilty of, and this is why I want to apologize. Anytime I have used a Switch UI fan-made picture in a thumbnail, or anything that's a big news or you know a big update for Nintendo Switch, and then in the story there wasn't one even minor talk of updates to the Nintendo Switch UI. That's a bait and switch. I'm baiting you in by making you think there's a massive update to Switch, and then inferring, not lying to you directly, not being like looking you in the eye and going, "There is going to be this," and then I never talk about it. 
But the thumbnail makes you think that big news is related to a massive UI update that either just landed on Switch or is coming to Nintendo Switch. So a lot of us would like to see the UI updated. A lot of us like to see the eShop updated. And when you see those UI pictures in there, it makes you think, even if that's not it, even if I have seen that UI photo before, there is something coming and I want to I want to find out more. And then you click in and you watch the video and that's not the case. Uh, that's a lie. And, and you know, and without having to conflate it into, you know, paragraphs and paragraphs of explanation, it's lying to the audience to get them to click on your video. And it works. That's why people do it. That's why I've done it. It works. I know anytime I put the Switch UI in the video that you're going to click. You clicked on this video and it has Switch UI in it. Granted, the video literally is called clickbait. That's it. There's no subtext to it. So... I, I do think that uh, it's a bit more appropriate since that's one of, I feel, my personal worst offenses with clickbait. Now, this doesn't, you know, so some people get confused a little bit with clickbait. Uh, and, and this is where I, I, I will disagree with the audience a little bit because some of you guys out there, you know, will will call anytime I cover a rumor or a leak, uh, they'll, they'll just call even covering it. Like the idea of covering uh, that stuff is clickbait. And I find that to be a little interesting since I'm very careful in how I word my titles or my thumbnails to infer that it is a rumor of some type. It is not necessarily true. There are times that the title was maybe a bit too far into making you think it was real. But, um, it, you know, like, like I could argue my video yesterday. Uh, you can kind of call that. Um, maybe pushing the envelope too far, right? The title said Nintendo Direct still coming soon. Uh, major game revealed for it. Uh, and then in the in the thumbnail, it shows the Nintendo Direct text, you know, a little winky Mario, and it says big news. Because I, I do think it's big news. But also, uh, the thumbnail, I don't think it's as big an issue as the title is, because it says Nintendo Direct still coming soon. It doesn't infer that this is still technically based on rumors. This is not nintendo announcing it or something right now it's funny because people seem to generally like that video yeah it's got a lot of views also got a lot of likes we gained a bunch of subscribers from it um and i know that you know these rumors aren't anything new it's sort of updating on it that's why i felt a bit more comfortable not throwing rumor at the front of it because i'm like hey i think everyone at this point knows what the hell we're talking about with this stuff so i i didn't think i needed to go that far but for some people i could see where that pushes the envelope and goes too far uh and i just want to i just want to say i'm sorry in general, I, I never create content, whether it's the titles, thumbnails, or what I say in the videos, to be misleading. I do not want people clicking on my videos expecting something that never happens. Uh, I, I can't apologize for words like big news or stuff like that because that's, you know, news is the big, big news or surprising news or major, you know, these, the, these huge words that, that people like to click on. Uh, are highly subjective. You know, I, I could see a new trailer for Mario Golf and think that's a really, really big deal, and other people might, might just be like, Psh, that's nothing. But to me, that was big news. So that part's highly subjective. But what's not is when you're bait and switching and, and basically lying to your audience. And, and I'm just examining my, my own channel right now. Uh, I have to go back a little bit here before I recognize something that that uh looks, you know, like like, you know, massive game leaks. Leaks is literally quoted suggesting that, you know, hey, this might not be real. I think that's totally fine. You know, anything that has rumor in the title, you know, rumor, new switch revealed soon. Well, like that's again, it's not a lie. I'm not bait and switching you. I'm not making things up. The title and the thumbnail are directly related to what the entire video is about. That nine min and minutes and 51 second video is entirely about the title and the thumbnail. Like that's not clickbait. What that is, is a rumor properly titled. Um, so I, I do feel that some of the frustration is just with rumors in general, because uh, we do cover a lot of them. We cover a lot of them. There is some fatigue, but I've been covering them for 20 years. You guys think I'm going to get fatigued now? Then, man, I've been covering this crap since I was in my teen, teen years, man. Like, this is nothing new to me, man. I've been covering this stuff forever. So, uh, I don't get tired by this stuff, but I understand if you do. Um, you know, Big, Big Breath of the Wild 2 features have leaked. They did. 
And the reason that I know they did is because they came from someone who literally works at Nintendo. Didn't really think that that was clickbait. Some people might think that it is. Uh, you, you know, you go further down, huge rumor, no problem with that. Um, then, then we're at Prime Gaming Fest. And then before, before Prime Gaming Fest, you know, you'll see, you know, we had a bunch of live streams, actually, because there was a whole bunch of stuff going on. Uh, but then you get back to our Prime News episode. It says big news in the title. It shows Sonic and Pokemon Scarlet and Violet in the title. And it says big Nintendo Switch uh, uh, online update, Sonic Frontiers and Pokemon. Only has 1,000 views. Basically nothing clickbaitable in that title. And, and, and I think that's what some people don't understand is when, when you make a title, you know, that's a 14 minute video. That video probably took me five hours to put together between research, recording, editing, uploading, creating titles. Like that video probably took me five hours. And that video made a grand total of 88 cents. Uh, whereas, uh, let's see, the video made, uh, which one? Uh, that rumor on the new Switch revealed soon, that nine minute and 51 second video, that video took me probably an hour and a half and got you know, 600% more viewership and also made like 50 bucks. So it, it, it's just a, a difficult thing when you're trying to decide what's the best way to go about having your gaming conversations and, and trying to create engaging content without lying to your audience, but that also interests your audience. You know, that Prime News episode had real legit news in it. Legit news, no rumors, no leaks, legit stuff. And nobody watched because the title and thumbnails weren't great because the news itself was maybe not the most clickable news out there. Uh, you know, before that, we had a, a, another rumor. Rumor Breath of the Wild 2 blowout next month. Okay, like that was a rumor for July. Okay, cool. Obviously got a lot of views because people like rumors. Um, and I'm going back to my prior prime news episode, Oracle of Agencies and HD coming soon. Question mark. Again, that part was a bit clickable, but then the rest of the title, Reggie talks about next gen switch. People didn't seem to care about that. And you can see that in the comments. Uh, you get to, you know, a couple uh, videos before that. Uh, huge leak PS5 and Xbox Series X Pro switch to, which is exactly what the leak was about. Basically that that those systems are being worked on has less than 2000 views and it only made two dollars and twenty one cents. Like, this is the reality of, of creating content, is you need to create engaging titles and, and not just engaging content. If you, My Prime News episodes are some of the content and the podcast that I am most proud of at my channel. And it's also the content that I struggle the most with trying to find the titles um, that work. You know, if we go back a little bit earlier to some Prime News episodes from over a month ago, uh, you'll see Big News, Nintendo Direct, Twilight Princess HD, Silent Hill, and more. Notice, there's no rumor in there. There's no announcement of Twilight Princess HD. There's no whatever, but there is a rumor about Twilight Princess HD in the video. It's just not in the title. And it's got, a, you know, a Nintendo Direct thing with Doug Bowser and Twilight Princess HD in the thumbnail. And guess what? It has almost 6,000 views. And then you go back to the Prime News episode before that. There it is. New Switch game leaks and controller. Uh, Nintendo has a controller problem. There was a, a lot of legit news, 16 minutes long, and in there I'm using a new Switch UI concept. 7,000 views. Do you see the pattern? Do you see the pattern that I see anyways? And that pattern is the more mystery and more um, interesting things you can put in your title and thumbnail, even if that stuff's in the video, uh, the more likely people are to click it. So if I want that click-through rate, if I want those new subscribers to grow, you got to put things in the title and thumbnail and cover stories uh, that people are interested in. And they're interested in things they don't know about. And the things they don't know about are things that haven't been announced yet. And that's why rumors and leaks are obviously a big part of the channel because of that. Now, they don't make up you know, half the channel or anything. I do cover a lot of them, but they're not everything. We cover us so much, like, especially with prime news episodes, we cover so many amazing stories. Uh, but yeah, I, I just, I really wish that, um, that we could be a bit more understanding as a community about clickbait. That's really it. Um, I, I am sorry when I've pushed the envelope too far. And if I push it too far in the future, I, I really don't mean anything by it. 
I'm being honest and transparent. I mean, you guys could can point out channels that do it different and don't have to clickbait. You know, you could, you could say something like Spawn Wave, and and I, I can argue with Spawn Wave, and I love Sean. He's he's a great content creator, great guy behind the scenes. I I can literally point to his channel and go, yeah, but News Wave isn't what made him a big channel. His News Wave episodes were actually struggling to get views for a long time. What he got views on was his more unique content, tearing down systems, showing the insides. Um, buying crap from random websites like GameStop or Wish or whatever and just seeing what happens. Like Those are highly clickable, unique content. And some of you might go, well, Nate, then that's what you should be doing. You can have your news content, but also do this other stuff. And to that I say, sure. Sure. Problem is I keep giving away all my spare money to you guys. So I got to stop the giveaway so I can afford to do some of that stuff. And I don't want to do what other people are doing. So what I've really built myself upon over the last 24 years is covering news. Well, writing guides. I used to write a lot of video game guides back in the day, but covering news. That's what I like to do. I like gaming conversations. I'm a gaming conversationalist. That's kind of what I call myself. So I think I'm doing a pretty good job at that. I don't know. I know that there's people who love my channel and think all my stuff's awesome and you guys are great. Uh, but also, it's really good to get that criticism and, and be honest about it. So, I don't know, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I suppose give me all the feedback you want. Blast my channel if you want, whatever. The floor is yours, and I'll catch you guys in that next video.